So apart from a short weekend trip, this is our first big trip since the end of restrictions. And we're off to do the Wales 360. So So this is going to be our route for the next six days. Following the massive success for the Scottish Tourist Board of creating the NC500, Wales decided to create their own national tourist route. The 360, Snowdonia 360, or aka Wales 360, going to take a couple of days to get there. When we get there, we're going to start here in Bala. Then we're going to head down the A494, through around Dogetley, McKinleth, down to Abu Dhabi, and then back up. Bournemouth, through Harlech, Pendendroidrith, Port Maddox, Crickieth, down to the Clint Peninsula, from right down to Aberdeeron. Then we double back on ourselves, and go up the coast road to Carnarvon, and then we cross over into Anglesey over the Manai Bridge, and basically do a loop all the way around Anglesey, down to Bourne Morris. I think we stay in Bourne Morris one night, then back across the bridge over to Llandidno, Conway down to Bethesda Coed and normally that route would finish back at Bala but this time we're going to take a slight detour through Capital Curry, Penny Pass to Beth Gellert down to Manturog and then back to Bala for our penultimate night in Wales and then head home via Ludlow. Day one of our trip was going to take us across country about a three and a half hour ride to the outskirts of Shrewsbury. After an hour and 40 minutes in the saddle, we were well overdue for a coffee break. So we thought we'd stop in the delightful little town of Henley in Arden. Henley in Arden is one of Warwickshire's oldest market towns dating back to the 12th century. The one mile long high street is a conservation area with more than 150 buildings of historic interest including the timber-framed Guild Hall. coffee and a muffin later and it was time to get back on the road.
So we arrived at our accommodation for the night, the Mitten and Mermaid Country House Hotel. The hotel is a Grade 2 listed coaching inn just on the outskirts of Shrewsbury. The hotel has an interesting history. It was built in 1735 and it was an inn known as the Talbot Arms. So I wanted to know how on earth it became to be known as the Mitten and Mermaid. Apparently in the 1930s the building was bought by Sir Clough Williams Ellis, the architect linked with Port Merion in North Wales, and more of him on the next episode. Mitten was the name of a local squire who'd squandered his fortune and the Mermaid is the crest of the Port Merion Hotel. So the Mitten and Mermaid which is like a country house hotel stroke pub. So let's go and check out our room, shall we? Number five, <sighs> exhausted. So here we are. Uh, it's small, very warm, isn't it? Bit hot. Bit hot, could do with a fan. Nice views though for the river, River Seven. And that's where we'll be shortly when it's beer o'clock. Uh, quite, yeah, cosy. And at least it has a bath, a tub we can soak in. Yeah. And we're on the banks of the Seven uh, near Shrewsbury. So we're just going to stretch the legs and add one. It's been a long ride for about three and a half hours. Here. <laughs> have you lived in, in Shrewsbury all your life? All my life, yes. Can you tell me then, is it Shrewsbury or is it Shrewsbury? It depends which side of the river you live. Right. If you're uh, one side of the river, it's Shrewsbury. If you're the other side, it's Shrewsbury. And which side are you? Shrewsbury. <laughs> there you are. I knew it was Shrewsbury. There you go. Well, it used to be spelt S-H-R-O-O-Z, I think. Right. Medieval times, sort of thing. In the old English. Old English, yeah. So how would we rate the Mitten and Mermaid Hotel if you're on a biking trip? The Mitten and Mermaid is a pretty place sitting on the edge of the River Severn and about five miles away from the centre of Shrewsbury. The weather was good and we planned to eat at the hotel so the location was great for us. The bedroom was a little bit small and very warm but with lovely views over the bridge and the river. 
but the poor water pressure meant we didn't even attempt to fill the bath. I guess dodgy plumbing happens in old buildings, but the room was clean and the bed was comfortable. For dinner, we opted for soup, followed by their Taste of Asia crispy duck main. The food was fine and probably mid-range in price. Sadly, the service wasn't great. The waiter was abrasive in his communication and we got the distinct impression he really didn't want to be there. I guess serving food and drink in hot weather while wearing a face mask isn't designed to make anyone feel too cheerful. The parking for the bikes was around the back of the building. It wasn't locked, but it couldn't easily be seen from the road, so we were pretty happy it was secure. All in all, and compared with previous accommodation, it was okay. Well, today it's another beautiful day, as you can see. We are just about to leave Shropshire. We had an interesting night at the Mitten and Mermaid. Today, our first stop is going to be Bala. Bala marks the official start of our Wales 360 adventure. We've been waiting around for too long for something to show. Same old places and faces of people with nowhere to go. But we're not like them, we are better, both you and I know. Grab your car keys and jacket, cause honey, we're ready to go. Drive. We're leaving tonight Away from these streets and the cold bus neon lights We're keeping our heads up on water Struggling and striving We ain't gonna turn back this time We'll just keep driving As the road takes you further into Wales, the scenery changes and the landscape becomes more dramatic and the roads even more sublime. We've got two hearts ready to fire and enough ammunition. The six seats two hearts up to fill with a four speed transmission.
So now the important thing was to find a coffee. We chanced upon probably the best coffee shop in Bala. <laughs> What's the name of the cafe we're in? Club North Cafe Bistro. And we're in Bala on the high street. So what are all these photographs from the wall for? For all locals. Basically, if you live here, you know every single person in these pictures, like the village elders kind of thing. This is a local's cafe then? Yeah. If you ask anybody within a five mile radius, they'll send you here. Before we head off. That was a great coffee stop and highly recommended if you're in Bala. But right now, suitably refreshed, time to get back on the road and head southwest. The route was going to continue heading southwest to Abu Dhabi on the coast before heading north up the coast road to our final destination of the day and our accommodation at Pantinian Hall. About an hour later it was time for another stop, a quick leg stretch and an opportunity to change the GoPro batteries in the tiny sleepy village of Penal. Abu Dhabi is a thriving little harbour resort set within the boundaries of the Snowdonia National Park. It's famous for its water sports and also has a championship golf course. First time. 
think of today's ride? Oh, it's been amazing. Sunshine, fabulous roads, a lot of roadworks. Not a lot of traffic. But it's uh, just fantastic. Look at the colour of the water. well off the beaten track. It's situated right at the top of a lovely country tarmac lane with a hairpin right at the top of it.
just arrived at our second destination, which is Pantinian Hall, which is a really interesting place. I thought it was a hotel when I booked it on booking.com. Turns out it's more like a B and B sort of guest house. Um, we were concerned whether we were going to do food or not. We've just checked in with the owner and they do a basic menu. So that's great. All we need is that and beer. And they got a bar as well. And it looks gorgeous. It's tucked away, kind of up a hill in the middle of a forest. Beautiful. Anyway, we're going to go out for a walk in a minute and explore. But first of all, let's just show you our room for tonight. It's Pantinian Hall. Wow, look at this. What a difference a day makes compared with the one last night. What do you think? It's lovely, really spacious and bright and... Yeah, look at the size of the bed. not quite as hot. Last night was tiny and very hot. This looks like it's been renovated recently. Yeah, the owners seem lovely as Really well. modern. Really friendly. There we are, view of the bikes. And Brilliant space, bathroom, and shower. Yeah, so if the food and drink are as good as the room, then we are quids in, aren't we? And so it was time to explore our surroundings. Karen, the owner, had said there was a lovely walk up to a great viewing point. Uh, she said it was quite steep, but the view was worth it. It's a lovely walk with a good view at the top. So I know we're out of condition, be, be riding for a few days, but. It's quite steep though, babe. <laughs> wow. It's quite steep. I'll drop the quite. Wow. It better be a good view when you get to the top. Hurry up, it's beer o'clock. So this is the bar in the... It is. The, now, as you pronounce this, Pantanian. Pa yes, Pantanian Hall. Pantanian Hall. And I'm just sampling... Uh, no, I'm sampling one of the... What is it? The Snowdonia Ale. So, cheers, everybody. And, and, cheers. and our, a Welsh gold's going to go in the fridge for me later going on. going in the fridge. I'm far less demanding. Pinot Grigio. Large Pinot Grigio, if you've got one, please. Thank you so much. So, this is the lovely little lounge here. This is for breakfast and lunch. And how long have you been here? Doing this two years now? Yeah, two and a half years. Where, where are you from originally? Yeah. Uh, Berkshire, Wokingham. Ah, Wokingham. And I think we just got a bit fed up with the rat race and, yeah, just wanted a lifestyle, really. A lifestyle. So you've come to bury yourself in the backwoods of Wales, tucked yeah. off, off the beaten track. Ten minutes from the beach. It's a beautiful place. Walking, walking. Do you have many perfect. bikers here? Do you have many we've bikers? We've had a few, we've had a few come through, yeah. Because it seems like the fab most fabulous ride to get here yeah. and then tucked away, secure, Great, lots of space for with the all nice, the junk that bikers carry. With so. a nice little hairpin bend as with you come up. With a great little hairpin <laughs> bend. <laughs> yeah, Tell me, how often do you get do you get to use that hot tub? The truth, I was in it last night. <laughs> The owners of the hall are Paul and Karen Crozier. They're friendly and helpful and put a huge effort into making the guests feel comfortable and looked after. Having left corporate life in the south of England, they moved to Wales to follow a dream and Pantanian Hall is a real credit real to them. friends or anything, yeah. Just literally going past Welsh Paul, we get stressed. <laughs>
So it's dinner time at Pantinian Hall. And here we have our favourite ribs. Ribs and fries. Pantenian Hall was definitely one of our better choices. Located up a pretty windy country lane which was fun to ride on the bikes, the recently converted hall used to be a bunkhouse, used primarily for groups of walkers and school kids. There's a walk up to the Blue Lake and the scenery overlooking the cove to the Barmouth coast is absolutely breathtaking. The hall has lawns and decking outside where we enjoyed our normal beer o'clock. Our room was bright and spacious, immaculately clean and comfortable, with an ensuite shower room and a loo. The bed was a super king size and gave us a great night's sleep and it's worth mentioning that other than the cabin, which is a separate part of the hall's accommodation, the rooms do not have TVs. Now that wasn't a problem for us as the Wi-Fi is good throughout the building and there is a large TV in the bar area. The food is cooked to order by Paul, one of the owners of the hall. There's a choice of snacks and mains and we opted for ribs, which were delicious and very reasonably priced. There was also a good choice of beer and wine and a lovely selection of hot and cold breakfast food. Customer service, well, that really was outstanding and, as always, is important to us. Secure parking for the bikes was a must and the location of the hall means the bikes were very safe and we could actually see them from our room. Our conclusion, a real diamond of a place and good value for money, which we wouldn't hesitate to return to.